Welcome to Cook the Garden Podcast, your weekly audio source for delicious and easy garden fresh recipes and growing tips. I'm your host, Janine Grays. Let's cook the garden. Hey friends, welcome back. You're listening to episode number four of Cook the Garden. And if you love pickled foods, you are definitely in for a treat today. I'm sharing my delicious and easy pickled cucumbers and red onion recipe. So I love mostly anything pickled. So I'm really, really excited to share this one today. Growing up, my parents would always make pickled cucumbers as a complement to a main dish. Some of you may know that I'm originally from Suriname, South America, and over there, basically a variety of pickled veggies or fruit is definitely a staple. So today, I want to share this easy way that you can make a jar of fresh and tasty pickled cucumbers of your own, and you're absolutely going to love it. Today's featured ingredient is the cucumber. So in a little bit, I'll share some of my experiences um, growing cucumbers, and we'll talk about the seasonality, and of course, I'll share some growing tips. So before we jump into the recipe, I will include a link to the full recipe down below in the description. I would just love to take this opportunity to just recognize that this is week four of Cook the Garden podcast. Guys, we've been doing this now for almost a month and I'm having such an amazing time. I'm so thankful for each of you for tuning in and sharing this love of cooking and gardening with me. And I just, I'm so excited to just continue having these conversations and to continue engaging with each of you. Definitely, if you haven't yet, follow me on Cook the Garden on Instagram. I would love to hear your feedback and your input of what you're thinking of the podcast and if you've been inspired to make any of the recipes or to start your own garden. Okay, who's ready to make some pickled cucumbers? Let's get the recipe started. Although this is a super quick and easy recipe, it does require some time for it to chill and really uh, just to give the, the cucumbers a chance to absorb all the flavors. I recommend that it chills in the refrigerator covered overnight. Um, if that's not an option, try to chill it for a couple of hours or as long as you can. A little pro tip for this would be to try to make this a day ahead of when you plan to serve it. The longer it gets a chance to chill, the better it will taste. So I wanna to touch real quickly on pickling spices. So pickling spices gives your pickled cucumbers and onions an added boost of flavor. You can include whole cloves or for additional flavor, you can buy a store-bought pickling spice. Um, you can also make your own as well, which I do quite a bit. Uh, so to make your own, all you need is some allspice, coriander seeds, cloves, a little bit of ginger, red pepper flakes, a bay leaf, and a cinnamon stick. So you just combine all of those to make your very own pickling spice. It's super easy. And it gives your pickled vegetables such a boost of flavor. So for the ingredients, we're gonna start with two to three cucumbers sliced. Use your favorite variety of cucumbers. I normally use the English cucumbers because they're extra crunchy and I just really enjoy the flavor one red onion thinly sliced, eight to 10 ounces of white vinegar, three tablespoons sugar or your favorite sugar alternative, two to three whole cloves or just a few pinches of pickling spice. And you also wanna have a pinch of salt. So in a medium sized container or a glass mason jar, which is what I normally use, you wanna go ahead and mix your vinegar, your sugar, and your pinch of salt together. Then add your cucumbers, onions, and cloves or your pickling spice. And that's basically it. Your next step is to definitely let it chill and you wanna keep it covered in the refrigerator um, at least for a few hours 
overnight is definitely best because the longer the flavors get a chance to marry together and really absorb into your onions and cucumber, the better it will taste. Pickled cucumbers will last in the refrigerator for up to three months. So again, this recipe is just so delicious. You'll probably want to eat it straight out of the jar like I do a lot of times. Um, or like I mentioned earlier, I do love to complement all kinds of dishes with um, a nice serving of these easy pickled cucumbers. So they add uh, texture, they add flavor, a little bit of tanginess, and they're just perfect. So I really, really hope you enjoy these. So as far as growing cucumbers, it took me a little while to get the hang of it. They can be a little picky when it comes to sun exposure, but for the most part, they are a very, very easy vegetable to grow. So here's a little fun fact about cucumbers. Did you know that they are the lowest calorie vegetable and they also contain 96% water? I thought that was a really neat fact and something new I didn't realize about cucumbers. You can also find them in almost all states between uh, June through September time period. In Arizona, um, it's actually cucumber season year round. And Texas and Florida are actually not too far behind them. You can find cucumbers well within the winter seasons um, in those states as well. So if you're planning on growing cucumbers next spring season, they like good soil that has a lot of drainage. So you can set your cucumbers up for success by prepping your soil and amending with compost. You'll also want to keep them watered consistently. You also want to grow your cucumbers vertically. It makes it so much easier to maintain. Cucumbers take up quite a bit of space in the garden, so trellising cucumbers is a really great way to save space and to manage those pests and diseases. For cucumbers, I've typically purchased young starter plants, um, but you can certainly start your cucumber seeds indoors and transplant them into the garden. So I just recently learned a companion planting tip um, that I'm super curious to know if it's worked for anyone else. So if it has or hasn't, definitely let me know what your experience is with this. But it's basically planting one radish seed with each cucumber plant. The radish supposedly helps with um, beetles. It keeps beetles at bay. So um, you wouldn't harvest those radishes though. Just let them flower and don't pick them. So if this has worked for you, definitely let me know because I'm very curious. Well, friends, that is all the time I have today. I really enjoy you tuning into this week's episode, and I look forward to doing it again next week. Don't forget to connect with me in between episodes. You can find me on Instagram at cookthegarden. For more recipes or to join my mailing list, visit my website at www dot cook pray slay dot com have a great week thank you for tuning in to this week's cook the garden if you enjoyed this episode please subscribe and leave a five-star review as a new podcast it really helps to add value while growing our awesome community as always i really appreciate it until next time friends keep slaying those garden fresh recipes